I still don't have any idea how to open my videos so we're just gonna go straight into it so today I am going to show you what is in my nanny bag like my bag that I use for work little disclaimer right now I am not caring for like babies or anything so the boys are pretty big now big eight and five so I don't need any like nappies or white well I technically should probably bring wipes because kids are messy I would it will probably look a lot different if I was caring for babies but I'm not so I'm just gonna show you so also there's a difference between term time and half term and I'm just kind of gonna show you the difference and explain so let's get started with my term time bag which is this it's a pretty decent like small Harry Potter bag that I got from Primark and yeah I used that during term time because during term time I literally I'm at their house for like four hours in the evening in the afternoon so I don't need much and in this bag up here, I'm just gonna go through it and most of the things are like pretty self-explanatory so obviously my keys and the keys to their house it's all in here reusable straw but yeah my keys then a mask I don't need to wear a mask at work obviously I just carry one round um then what else do I have obviously I always bring my water bottle which is a obviously it has like it's a straw water bottle stainless steel and it's got this pretty like lunar theme I love this bottle it's big as well I think it's like a litre maybe a little bit more but yeah it's massive I usually have about three of those at work just because if I carry the bottle around I drink more then oh there we go tissues instead of wipes then obviously my wallet, my glasses, headphones, deodorant, and what else? A deck of Pokemon cards, which normally I don't bring during term time because um, I do play Pokemon cards. This is my own deck. I do play Pokemon cards with the older one of the two, but our like battles take a long, long, long time. So we usually don't really have time after school, before dinner, those kind of things. But yeah, so I'm just gonna keep that in here for now. And then I have this, which is like a little wet bag technically, which I just have to keep like all my little things con contained like for example in here i have some hair ties let me just lay that out on the floor some nose spray i have inhaler hand cream neppy cream no idea whether that's in there but okay just some random like painkillers for like headaches and like quick relief things more hair ties hand sanitizer lip balm also no idea where those are in there i don't think i've ever needed them uh they're like those blister plasters i've never needed those before but here they are and then just some random emergency pads and that's it that bag isn't actually that big but it's a good size to store like all those little things so I don't have to like dig through my bag I do have another bottle of hand sanitizer in my jacket pocket I just don't always take a jacket everything fits in here and I just take that when I go pick them up take it to their house and have it while we hang out there my most used thing is probably my water bottle but I just don't like carrying water bottles around like this I'm like a bag person so I just pop it in the bag and have everything in there 
Okay, let me just repack that. So yeah, here we are. That's my term time bag. Now for half term. Half term isn't technically that different, just that half terms, I am usually at their house from the morning to the evening. So we usually accumulate, I accumulate more things in my bag, just because it depends what we're doing that day, obviously, if like not with COVID round at the moment, but if we end up going swimming, I take a completely different bag, because then I just throw like towel, all of our stuff in that one big bag that I have, and just carry that round. But for my term, a uh, half term bag, got confused myself, I have this massive bag, which I've had for years. That was my school bag since I was like 14. So I've probably had this bag like seven years now and it's still going strong. Like there's nothing wrong with this bag. I put a lot of buttons on it. The kids absolutely love that. Let me just show you my buttons. Yeah, it has loads of pockets. I don't use all of those pockets. I usually in the front pocket. I'm pretty sure there is a waterproof cover for the bag because this bag is a leather bag, so it's not, it doesn't get that wet, but this is like fabric. So it kind of gets soaked a little bit. So I just carry that around just in case. And overall, the contents of this bag are exactly the same as this one. So everything that goes in this bag is in this bag during half term. I usually bring like a game from my house that the boys don't really know just to mix it up a little bit. So because I have some kid friendly games, like for example, Bingosaurus has been in my bag for a long time. It's basically bingo but with dinosaurs. We've played it a couple of times, they love it. So usually I have this in there. I had like a Harry Potter who is it in my bag. Just like random games that just bring and when they're like getting really bored and they just don't know what to do I just whip them out and it kind of mixes the day up a little bit and gives them something else to do yeah I usually bring a couple of games then I usually have I have no idea where it went oh it's here I thought it was I usually the thing is I brought this once it's a Harry Potter coloring book and I brought that for mainly when the boys are like just playing by themselves and don't really need me because they are old now so they don't need me like every minute of the day sometimes they're happy just playing together in the playroom and i'm just like sitting there like an egg because i don't have any like household things to do so just full of bring this what ended up happen happening though is when i brought this they were obsessed with it so in the end it ended up being a kid's colouring book. So, yeah. I mean, they were pretty good with it and it was really entertaining for them. Like, one would sit on this side and start colouring this side. The other one would sit on this side and colour that side. Or I would sit and do this side and the other one would do that side. So, overall, it paid off. I'll definitely, I definitely will be keeping that in my bag. Because the little one has been asking for it quite a lot. Like, he... Like the other day, he was like, oh, did you bring a Harry Potter book? I didn't, but because ma mainly because the book is like the size of the bag, so it doesn't really fit in there. But yeah, I usually bring something like that. And then I usually have a book on hand for the same reason. If the boys are busy, just being by themselves, like together, then I just grab a book and sit down for a little bit because with the book they're not that interested in it this ended up being a fail well not really a fail because it did entertain them and we had a lot of fun with this book yeah i think that's usually everything that's in my term half term bag i mean it depends what we're talking about some holidays obviously i had like sun cream in there and those kind of things but that's not specific for every half term i usually in the big bag especially when i'm there all day i usually do bring spare clothes because I'm just one of those people I like to be prepared so like if it's if it looks really warm in the morning but might be getting cold later I like throw a jumper in there or I might put a jumper on now and throw a t-shirt in there or wear long trousers now and throw some shorts in there in case I get hot later those kind of things I that's what the big bag is good for I just bring spare clothes and but that completely depends on the weather and what half term it is usually 
in the colder months, half terms. I don't need to because it's going to be cold in the morning, it's going to be cold in the afternoon. I just wear whatever I wear. I think that's about all that goes into my bag, just to show you like the size difference. <laughs> so this is my little half term bag. Uh, this is my little term term bag and this is my half term bag. It's just like, especially board games, they take up a lot of space. But yeah, like I said, it would look, it would probably look a lot different if I was caring for like babies and whatever. I mean, I usually end up with like random stuff in here, like conkers or right now I've got their masks laying around somewhere because we're going to library and I bring them to my house. Um, so usually little random things end up being in my bag anyway. But overall, this is what is, what is in there. My boys are pretty self-sufficient. I might have some snacks in there sometimes. But that's all, really, during term time, I really just picked them up. We go to their house, and then we're at their house, and that's it. And during half term at the minute, we can't go anywhere, so we're at their house. So I don't need to be overly prepared. That's about it for what's in my nanny bag. I hope you find that interesting, and I will see you... Maybe next week, maybe the week after. I'm not sure yet what my schedule is going to look like. Bye.